that's I can't help but love that you decided to have your whole staff come up here with you. What do these guys next to you mean to you and bring to this program and this team? Well, they're the team, you know, so uh, my, it's just my name that's on the team. Uh, uh, Coach Gabe uh, works the pitchers and the outfield, and Coach Jordy works the, the infielders and, and the offense, so they're the team. I'm just, I'm just here. Right, so then for us, it's, it's a beautiful thing for us to be together all summer long for eight weeks. We're in the same hotel, same rental car, the same dugout with a bunch of knucklehead kids. <laughs> so it's, been, it's, more, it's fitting that we're all here together. It's been fun to watch your team this entire summer. And like you said, it's been eight weeks of just being with each other day in and day out. Your team has also gone a lot better every single week. Mm -hmm. Where are you guys at right now in terms of what type of softball do you feel like you're playing? Are you at your best and what's working on? Well, we're playing really great team ball, right? Right now, the girls are picking each other up. You know, we're playing great situational ball, and which is great right now because we're it, the field is really tough. The competition is tough. So for us, and almost every game this uh, this tournament, I think we come from behind. So then the, for the girls to stay focused on the plan that the coaches put before them and to execute, it's been a tremendous uh, uh, run for us so far. What does that say about your team being able to come from behind every single time? Oh, they're built for it, you know? So we, we give them a hard time. They give us a hard time, but we're built for it. The hardest, our a hard job as a coach is to keep them all here in this bucket, you know, because they're explosive. And sometimes being explosive, we can take the lid off the popcorn kettle too early. So if we can keep them together, uh, they, they, they'll go a long ways. Talk about a few players who have really stood out this past week. Well, I tell you what, um, so we always have our big kids. They're going to always stand out. And they've done that, you know, for the for the, for the past five or six years for our organization. But we've had kids like Ariel Redman, who's come uh, come along, uh, committed to University of Houston. Uh, she's added to the mix. We've had Abby P. Tech, who's who's come a long way. She's gone to Boston College. So so to have those kids to be along with the kids that we know that are already great, that's what's making us better, you know? So now they have support and that's a good thing for us. Your team has so much fire. I've done <laughs> dance videos with them, serious videos with them, everything you yeah. got. Yes. Where does that fun come from? How much does it correlate to how they're playing right now? So our, our main thing is to let them be them, all right? We're, they're crazy. Hell, I'm the crazy one. They're the one that said, coach, don't do that. Coach, don't say that. But we just let them be who they, who they are. And when we do that, they're going to play great for us. Our main thing is the not to put them in a box. However God made them, we're going to love them from uh, that point on, right? That's how we work as a, as a coaching staff. All eyes are obviously on the next game. What do you want to see from your team? The same as the stuff that we're doing all, all week long, right? See ball, hit ball. Keep this thing simple and don't turn this into a, a big overthought out process. You know, they've been doing this, playing this game for 15 years or so, 13, 10 years or so. See a ball, hit a ball, catch a ball, throw a ball. If we keep it simple, we can play with anybody. And the last one for me, you have women who are going to be going on to play at some of the highest levels. What does it mean for each of you to be able to play a little bit of a part and then to go watch them on the biggest stage in a few years? Well, it's, it's one, it's, it's, it's an honor for us to let our, for our parents to entrust us with their kids. But it goes down to our, our younger players, uh, Jazz Vesley, who runs our organization, her coaching staff, uh, Kelly and Carla, prepare these kids for us. Make our job much easier by the time they get, they get to 18U. So we have, our organization have a great uh, path from when they're 10U all the way through uh, until they play for us. But for us, it's an easy thing. Uh, it feels easy and it's not to disrespect the game, but our younger coaches better prepare the girls for 18U for us. I got a, I got a question, George. He's going to talk about you guys and his players. Can you talk about this guy and what he means for, for the team and for these players? I think he's huge. Like, put, not only putting the team together, but um, having a system that the team can fall into that gives them better prepared for college and allowing them to be themselves within our system, I think it's a big time. I think it allows them to be free playing and still be ready to play at the next level. Ted, how could you all uh, say who you are and your team you fight? I'm Casey Jackson. I'm the head coach of the Impact Gold Jackson 18U national team. Jordan Jackson, Impact Gold Jackson 18U assistant coach. Gabe Castillo, Impact Gold Jackson 18U assistant coach. 
Y'all check. Thank you, Ollie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Good luck.